Becca. There. There you go. Good, mate. Oh, mate, don't you love beautiful Dargo? It's a fabulous place to come to, and I'm really enjoying it. Absolutely. And we've got one of Australia's favourite caravans here. We've got the JB Gator. It's a beauty. What do you reckon? Well, it's got some snappy little features. Why don't we go and have a look at some of them? Sounds good to me. Hey, Macca, we really put this thing through its paces. This is a really surprising caravan with all-terrain characteristics, river crossings, and a very tough gator-like exterior as well. It's a beauty, isn't it? Yeah, and it's got some wonderful creature comforts inside as well. Mate, let's have a really good look over it. I'm really impressed with this chassis. Yeah, so am I, and we proved it too with, uh, with what we've done up here. This is a six-inch drawbar running right back to a fully welded chassis there. It's four inches plus a riser as well, but it's really well welded, really well constructed, and got some great running gear. In fact, some of the best in the country. In fact, in the world, you've got Elko Enduro X all the way through the suspension. We've got a DO35 off-road coupling up the front as well. And it's got Toe Assist, which is a great product. It provides ABS braking with sway mitigation. So it really is quite safe and secure on the road and in heavy braking. It felt fabulous behind the car all the way down here to Dargo. You've got all your standard towing components, wind-up jockey wheel, a good little stone screen as well. It comes up really handy. You've also got the Adventurer toolbox plus all this great checker plate protection that really gives a lot of stone chip protection all the way through it. So it's going to keep looking good for the long term. Twin nine kilo gas bottles and you've got the indicator there for the tow assist so you know if it's working or not. A quick look in your mirror and you can see exactly what's going on behind you. Hey Macca, looks great no matter what angle you look at it and it's got everything. Have a look at the size of this tunnel boot. Oh, that's enormous bit. I reckon one of us could sleep in there mate. Double glazed Euro windows. You've got this checker plate panelling up nice and high. You've got your twin tank water fills. You've got twin battery compartments down here. 16 inch wheels and tyres. Well that's good because 16 inch you can get them anywhere. Yeah, universal, so that's just great isn't it? Look, we've even got a pull out shower in here. There's all your typical outlets and inlets for your water and your electricity as well. And up the back here, a nice little hatch for all your componentry. And I've got to say, with these decals, the whole thing is a fabulous looking package. Out the back, I love seeing a good strong bumper bar because you just never know when that tree jumps up behind you as well. Spare wheel, got to be there and yes. easily accessible. Yes. LED lighting, reversing camera. We've got the works including jerry can holders. It's all there, isn't it? And I've got to say, the departure angle on this is exceptional. When we were coming out of those water crossings, it just had nowhere near a grazing of the bottom, did no, it? It just no. walked through it without a problem. Around the living side, we've got the works, mate. It's nice and comfortable. We'll fold out awning, fold down picnic table, a four way locking security door. We've got an entertainment system, too. Yeah, entertainment system with internal and external speakers so you can watch the footy or the cricket outside on the 24 inch LED TV. So tell us about the suspension, Bear. Mate, Elko are setting standards worldwide with their new Enduro X suspension. It's an absolute beauty and it's well and truly proven itself on the tracks we've hit it with, no doubt about it. They've done a lot to improve the suspensions and put a lot of time into the research and development to come up with a much better mousetrap. It's actually a lighter weight unit with a clamshell design that they've come up with, but it's actually much stronger. So, you know, getting that weight down means a lot off-road, doesn't it? And that's your unsprung weight, so you're improving your suspension performance. Absolutely. Even things like their coatings. I mean, we've come a long way with industrial coatings nowadays, and they're using an e-coat system that's going to keep the chip resistance up really high. So you're not going to get that rust and that wear that gets into all your chassis components in the long term. It's great. And that's one of the most annoying things about normal chassis is that after you've been on one dirt road, you just get all of this pitting rust. Hey, Macca, it's a fully forged, replaceable stub axle. I reckon it's great innovation. Well, having done a stub axle out in the bush, I really like the idea of that. We've got twin parallel Elko shock absorbers okay. too. They're high quality shockers, so you virtually never have to change them. But if you do, nice and easy to get to. But combining with that, this one's got coil springs, but airbag options, which is great for those uneven campsites. You can just self-level. You've even got the choice of either drum or disc brakes. Mate, it doesn't get any better than that. So Macca, you've had a hard day on the road, pulled up at that perfect campsite, 
maybe set in for a few nights, maybe a few weeks. What about the comfort levels? Well, I've got to say, the first thing I noticed, Bear, was this fabulous natural lighting that floods this whole caravan. You've got these massive windows over the bed, you've got a window over the kitchen, you've got a window over the dining table, and you've got these massive hatches that let in all this beautiful light. Of course, your LEDs, a little bit of mood lighting with a nice blue light, which you can change to a white light as well. And all of these windows, of course, have got blinds and fly screens as well, so you can get that flow through ventilation happening really well. But speaking of flow through, the flow in this van for the size of the van is just terrific. I mean, you know, we're both big blokes, let's face it, we can move around really easily. Yeah, I really like the ergonomics. I mean, it really flows from the front right through to the rear. The quality of the cabinetry is just terrific. JB pride themselves on their CNC cut cabinetry and it's all beautifully edge banded as well. And speaking of cabinetry, you've got a ton of storage in here and you've even got disclosed catches all the way through. It just looks neat and really strong. I've got to say, black gloss, not really my thing in a bush environment, but even after what we've been through, there's no dust in here. I ran my fingers over every single surface here when we got in here, just to be sure. And you're right, there's absolutely no dust at all. You've got the three gas burners and then you've got one electric burner, which is good because you don't always want to run gas if you've got the van closed up. So you've got that heating element. Particularly with the charging system that's available in here as well, all run through that BM Pro system and twin 135 amp hour batteries as well. So you've got a lot of gumph to be running the electrics. We've got a stainless steel sink, plenty of bench space. We've got fresh water, filtered, hot water as well. And mate, something that you and I have just got to have, big fridge, freezer, combination, and it's a compressor fridge, so it's really efficient. You've got an extraction fan over the cooktop. You've got the microwave. Yep. How about the comfort of this leather lounge as well? When we really want to get comfortable, look, pull up footrest. How good is that? I can't believe that in a caravan of this size, you've even got the full ensuite. Yes, with the washing machine, which is really handy, let's face it. But there's also plenty of room in there. You know, there's some elbow space on the toilet as well. You've got towel rails, you've got good ventilation. And I hear it's got a massive shower. It is mate, big bloke, and I can still spin, clean the whole lot, and full head height's great. We've got the Ibis 4 air conditioner so we can stay nice and cool in the tropics. You've got a wind up wine guard antenna for the 24 inch LED TV. And what about the queen size bed? Padded bed head, really nice and large, good solid frame lifts up with all that storage plus all the electronics underneath as well fully surrounded by cabinetry wardrobes and even little nooks either side to put your phones or your books and it's got power so in this day and age power and water is something you just can't live without and this one's got plenty too you've got twin 65 litre water tanks underneath plus a grey water tank and this one's got twin 200 watt solar panels up top with a regulator okay. and there's those two 135 amp hour batteries that are giving you plenty of storage. You've also got a 600 watt inverter. Well, that's got it all covered. Well, Macca, I reckon JB Caravans have done a great job of combining everything I could possibly want on or off road into one great little fully Australian made unit. Well, that, my friend, is a hamburger with a lot on wheels. Oh, you betcha. And that gator's got a lot of bite.